Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Hello, Cross Watcher, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Cross Watcher, this will be your edition of Sexy Tarot's Cross Watcher's Dream. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Cross Watcher, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Cross Watcher, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the Aquarius, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Cross Watcher, as I'm progressing through the reading and you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, then this is not your Cross Watcher's dream. If you are here Cross Watcher for an Aquarius, you are in the right place. You are in the right place. I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. Let's see what's going on with the Aquarius. On the crack. On the crack, the Aquarius has the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energies, and the Magician. Aquarius has themselves. Or some of you are Virgo, Gemini, or Scorpio Energies. And what I'm seeing is the Aquarius is manifesting. They are making happen exactly what it is they want to make happen. They are relaxing. They feeling very sexy. Okay, they are finally opening up to love. They are having a few glasses of wine. They are chilling. They are taking life um, as it comes. That's how I'm getting it. Taking life as it comes. They're being very practical and focused on their... Um, their money, their money, they're manifesting money, but they are feeling sexy and looking sexy while they do it. One good shuffle for the Aquarius. Spirit, what does the cross watcher need to know about the Aquarius? What does the cross watcher need to know about the Aquarius spirit? Please and thank you. Cross watcher, in the recent past, the Aquarius experienced the Empress. Excuse me. Currently, the Aquarius, Aquarius is experiencing the Four of Pentacles. What's on the Aquarius mind when it comes to you, Cross Watcher, is the Three of Swords. How the Aquarius views you is the Moon. How the Aquarius feels about you is Temperance. How the Aquarius see you and them moving forward, the Three of Cups. What's in the head energies for you in the Aquarius? The King of Pentacles. What is Spirit's advice to you, Cross Watcher, when dealing with the Aquarius, the Seven of Wands? And this is the potential outcome. At the bottom of the deck, the reason for this reading is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. The Aquarius is busy. They're trying to figure life out right now, figure some things out in relation to their life. They're trying to figure out where they're going with love. Should they be focused on work? Should they be focused on their money? But, you know, it's like they're trying to keep their emotions balanced. The Aquarius seems a bit fed up. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups, some of your Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energies, and the Nine of Swords. And Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is you're worried that there's no movement with the Aquarius. It's like you hung your love up on the wall, okay? You hung your love up on the wall, and you are strategically trying to make your way back into the Aquarius life to see if they still have love for you, if they still have emotions for you. Some of you are in a same-sex partnership. In the recent past, Cross Watcher, the Aquarius experienced the Empress. The Empress. Some of you are Libras or Tauruses, but the Aquarius in the recent past was um, very nurturing. Um, they could be spending time with their children. Um, they're trying to grow something. In the recent past, the Aquarius was trying to grow something. They also wanted to work on their love life. So let me see what messages I could get from the Aquarius to you. Spirit, 
what does the cross what does Aquarius want to tell the cross watcher about this Empress energy in the recent past? What does Aquarius want to tell the cross watcher? At the bottom of the deck, you have my pride and ego got the best of me. Please save a spot for me in your heart, and I never want to lose you again. So, cross watcher, what you want the Aquarius to know is you never want to lose them again. And you want the Aquarius to save a spot for you. And it was something you did, cross watcher, where you got real egotistical, and you could have let that determine the destination of your connection with the Aquarius, right? Well, the Aquarius wants to know, although they in a recent past, they were very nurturing, loving, inspiring, it's like y'all not together. And they want to grow with you. And that's why their heart is sitting in that wood and they want to work on this connection because y'all's separation is still affecting the Aquarius. The Aquarius is separated from someone they love. Spirit. In the recent past, the Aquarius wants to, wanted to grow their connection with the cross watcher. The Aquarius is seeing this separation still affects them. Tell the cross watcher about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have ex-partner, reconciliation, and money. And Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is either you were trying to get your finances in order before you reconcile with the Aquarius, who is now your ex-partner, or Cross Watcher, what you're saying is you really value the connection with the Aquarius, and you want to reconcile with your ex-partner. Or Cross Watcher, what you're saying is you value reconciling with another ex-partner. Because I'm reading for different cross watchers that are dealing with Aquarius. So I wanted to give all those scenarios out. And the Aquarius in the recent past felt like y'all had agreed upon a union. They In the recent past, they feel like y'all had this commitment. But I see a repeated pattern going on here. And this pattern is upsetting the Aquarius because the separation from this commitment, this connection, still affects the Aquarius. Spirit, in the recent past, the Aquarius feels separated from the person they love. Tell the cross watcher about this. At the bottom of the deck, you have retreat, trust, and friendship. And what you tell me, cross watcher, is you know, this you started out as friends with the Aquarius, and it it grew into something much more. And you fell back because you didn't know if it was safe to trust the Aquarius. You know, you fell back from the connection. You pulled your energy back because it's like you didn't trust the Aquarius for some reason. Well, in the recent past, the Aquarius wanted this commitment with you. And they felt like this um, connection was very stable and it could have stood the test of time. And then the two of you are not together and they're missing you. Spirit. Aquarius wanted this, wants this connection back. You got two. Like the way they flew out there, I'm going to take it. At the bottom of the deck, you have lust, secret love, and soulmates. And you like, look, sexy. The Aquarius was my soulmate. And, you know, my secret lover. And I love having sex with them. I'm looking at all three of these cards. And there's a lot of passion and intimacy between two people in these cards. So, Cross Watcher, you secretly love the Aquarius and are lusting for them. And you feel like the Aquarius is your soulmate. Well, in the recent past, the Aquarius felt like that this commitment came to a halt, and they miss you. And the Aquarius, um, whoever this divine feminine, you could be a male energy being in your divine feminine, just so you know. And the Aquarius wants to get to know you. You know, it's like they feel real sexy. You make them, like, feel um, vulnerable. And they, they want to 
get back with that. You know what I'm saying? The Aquarius wants you back. It seems like y'all want each other back. Spirit, in the recent past, the Aquarius wanted to get to know the cross watcher. The cross watcher made the Aquarius feel very open and vulnerable. But this can... Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the birds, the male energy, and the whip. And cross watcher, what you telling me is that you were unstable or the Aquarius was unstable or this connection was inconsistent. And somebody was a player here and it caused a lot of pain. And that's what brought this connection to a halt. You know, somebody sacrificed this connection, whoever this male energy is. And then they were making the Aquarius wait. They were making the Aquarius wait. And that's what caused this connection to come to an end. Well, the Aquarius felt like in the recent past that you were taking risks with the connection, okay? And you weren't sacrificing. They felt like you were being very selfish. That's what I'm hearing. It felt like you were being selfish. Like the way I read with, with messages coming, that's what I'm giving. I'm not saying you're fabricating. I'm not making no shit up for nobody. I don't got time for that. So I'm not your paintbrush tarot reader. I'm just telling you that right now. Spirit. In the recent past, the Aquarius felt like there was some risk taken in this connection. See? Selfish. I know what I be feeling. At the bottom of the deck, you have winter rose-colored glasses and soulmates. And you like, yeah, sexy, you know, I felt like me and Aquarius had something special. However, you know, we did, we couldn't grow. We couldn't grow. You feel like you couldn't keep the, your promises to the Aquarius or the Aquarius. You felt like the Aquarius did not keep your promise to you. And this would cause this connection to go stagnant, although it was a divine union. Well, in the recent past, the Aquarius felt like you took a risk and decided to do what you wanted to do with balls, babe, independent, strong. And they tried to communicate this to you. They wanted you to, they wanted to express their love to you because they felt alone without you. But it seemed like you were real closed off and you had trust issues or maybe you were insecure about the connection, Cross Watcher. Currently... And it could be the Aquarius, you put the energies where, it's, where it belongs, it's your life. Currently, um, Cross Watcher, the Aquarius is experiencing the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. The Aquarius is all pulling back and holding back their energy. The Aquarius is also trying to save some money. The Aquarius is trying to, um, because I'm drawn to this person here, right here. This Aquarius is trying to, um... Figure out a plan to work or collaborate with you to have this new beginning because it seemed like it's something they want to know because I'm looking at all them books on that shelf. They want to know if this connection can grow, if the work is going to be put on, put in, and if you even think about them. Currently, the Aquarius says staying away from you is the hardest thing they ever had to do, okay? And the Aquarius wants to know, is there an opportunity here? Is there an opportunity for this connection to have success? Can it grow? And the Aquarius currently is feeling like, you know, there's a lot of red flags. And this is why them books is on that shelf. They feel like they need more information. And they want you to put their mind at ease about you possibly having many suitors or other people um, that you're dating. And the Aquarius with this bridge card wants to know where is this connection going? Spirit. Currently, the Aquarius is pulling back their energy, or they can feel like the cross watcher is pulling back their energy. But the Aquarius wants to hold on to the cross watcher. And Aquarius wants to know if this connection is going to grow and where it's going. Tell me about it. 
at the bottom of the deck, you have snake options and gossip. And you, what you're telling me is, look, sexy, I heard some uh, rumors about the Aquarius. Or the Aquarius heard some rumors about you. And um, the rumors had to do with somebody having other options than many suitors. And that somebody, either you cross watch or the Aquarius, was being very sneaky, not telling the truth, causing this betrayal. Well, the Aquarius currently wants to spend quality time with you and enjoy the enjoy you. The Aquarius wants chemistry, passion with you. They miss you. But the Aquarius also has somebody new. I want you to know that. And currently the Aquarius is shocked. They're very shocked that they're enjoying the company of someone new is what I'm hearing. What's on Aquarius' mind when it comes to you, Cross Watcher, is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords. They feel like this connection, the dream of this connection has been shattered. They were heartbroken, disappointed. They feel like they were um, just stuck with all this pain. And what's on Aquarius' mind is they were so upset that they was like, get your shit and get out. Whatever they found out. Because the Aquarius had to clear their energy for happiness. They wanted happiness. The Aquarius was on their mind is that the two of you were on two different pages. And that you two didn't want the same thing. One of you, uh, it seems like the Aquarius wanted a commitment and you wanted other options. Because they telling me, the Aquarius is telling me that you had many suitors. And the Aquarius is thinking about um, if they have a lot of insecurities and if they can let go of these negative experiences that they have um, went through in this connection with you, Charles Watcher, whoever this male energy is, because this is who the Aquarius is thinking about. And, you know, they feel like things change and you was their true love. And now they're trying to, like, clear you out their energy. Spirit, the Aquarius feel heartbroken. They miss the cross watcher. However, they feel like that, that um the cross watcher booted them out their life. Tell the cross watcher about this. At the bottom of the deck, you have reconciliation, lovers, and traditions. Some of you are Tauruses with this traditions card, and some of you are Geminis with this lovers card. And what you tell me, Cross Watch, is like, look, my morals and values, it was something with my family going on here, okay? And I had to take that into consideration. You know, um, I had to make a, a decision between two lovers, and I had to repeal, repair and rebuild a connection with somebody that I was on the same page with. So close watching, you had more than one person. Well, the Aquarius is saying that what's on their mind is that the truth has been exposed and that's what caused this connection to fall apart, that you possibly had another commitment or a higher level or commitment, okay? And that was what was secret and that was what was unknown. How the Aquarius views you, how the Aquarius views you is the moon. The moon. The Aquarius views you as um, laying down these secrets. They view you as having a lot of secrets. And they view you as um, holding on to your truth. Like not telling them what they need to know. The Aquarius views you as... Um, they going to call you. Be expecting their call. They view you as secretly wanting to reach out, or maybe you've already reached out. The Aquarius loves you. They, there are a lot of feelings here. A lot of feelings. And the Aquarius feels like their feelings are true. However, they view you as wanting to take it slow so that y'all can truly get to know each other. The Aquarius view you as um, being able to uh, stay in the test of time. They want to grow old with you. And they want this opportunity with this key card. You had the key up here. They want this opportunity with this key card to put in the work to show you that they love you. Spirit, the Aquarius loves the cross watcher. See, because the Aquarius think you're juggling. I'm going to tell you that right now. Spirit, the cross Aquarius views the cross watcher as their, the love of their life. And they want an opportunity to grow this connection. Can you tell the cross watcher about this? At the bottom of the deck, you have time. 
investment is slipping and you like look sexy i am going to um reach out to the aquarius because i feel like it's time that we confront these issues about you know it's not being it's not um a wise investment you feel like that in due time in due time it can be a stable and wise connection but you want to confront these issues too cross washer so you you buy in your time is what i'm hearing but so you actually have this conversation with the aquarius well the aquarius views you as um being love sick boy empty heartbroken without them the Aquarius views you as um, they miss you and they feel like this is a spiritual bond that cannot be broken. But however, they're confused. They don't understand what happened and why this opportunity is not being presented, pursued, and built. They wanted to grow. How the Aquarius feels about you is temperance. Temperance. Some of you are Sagittarius. The Aquarius feels like you're taking your time to heal, to um, negotiate, to bargain, to compromise with them. They feel like you're being real patient. The Aquarius feels like the last time y'all were together. It's something about the last time y'all were together. I'm hearing it was so slow. Mm, it was so slow. Sorry, that's the way it came out. And Aquarius feels like, you know, it's safe for you to love them. Like, you don't have to be afraid of them like they want you. And they feel like that um, uh, that since y'all had this time apart, that hopefully they feel like you got some clarity. They know they have clarity. That they want to hap happily ever after with you. They want this commitment with you. And the Aquarius feels like they want to look more into and look more into this situation, this connection, and see where it could go. They want to work on this. They feel like it's stability with you cross watching. Spirit, the Aquarius feels like they they want to happily ever after with the cross watcher, and they want to take a closer look at this connection. At the bottom of the deck, you have time, investments, and slipping. And you like, sexy, I know all this. I know all this. And I'm trying to get my money together, okay? And I'm going to confront this issue. I'm going to make a move before the Aquarius totally let me go. Okay. Well, cross watcher, the Aquarius feels like you are their wish come true, their bliss. They feel like being with you feels like a dream. And it's like, they want to go on a vacation. They just want to run away with you is what I'm hearing so that these fireworks can go off because they want loving, passionate, slow intimacy. I just keep hearing this slow intimacy. How the Aquarius sees the two of you moving forward is the three of cups. The three of cups. The Aquarius sees the two of y'all moving forward, having a good time, partying, reconciling, drinking, drinking, doing some kinky shit. Um, y'all might even have a threesome is what I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm hearing that. And they feel like they so addicted to you sexually. I'm not trying to be crazy. I'm really just giving you what I'm feeling. The Aquarius feels like they want to be wise in their decision-making moving forward. They feel like everything they went through with you, um, that they become wiser. They learned, their, their, um, they learned some lessons, you know, that's going to help guide them moving forward in this connection. The Aquarius sees a lot of passion. And see that try something you've never done before? I didn't even know. I'm telling you, I'm, not, I'm just reading as I go along. And for some of you, they want to do some real kinky stuff with you like a threesome. And the Aquarius moving forward feel like the two of you can fix this and work it, work this out. You know, they feel like y'all going to sit down and communicate about this happiness and this stability and this potential new op opportunity for a loving connection. But they want some light shed on the situation. Spirit, moving forward, Aquarius is very addicted to the cross watcher. They feel like them and the cross watcher could fix it, and they want light shed on the situation. 
at the bottom of the deck, we have Summer, Traveling, and Rainbow. And you like, yeah, sexy, I'm all for that. The Aquarius speaking my language. I want to clear up these bad vibes, and I do feel the emotional distance. And, you know, yeah, I've been dating a few people. I've been visiting other places. But I would like to take a trip with the Aquarius and, you know, share some of that good-ass energy. Y'all both some kinky mother lovers. Well, the Aquarius, um, once they have a conversation with you, so moving forward, they want to um, have this communication about getting together, celebrating, having a good time, so that the two of you can heal this connection, repair and rebuild, you know, all this hurt and pain. What's in the head energies for you and the Aquarius that neither of you see coming is this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Some of you are Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What's in the head energies is somebody being very wise and practical in, in their decision making. And I see another wood and heart just like in that Empress energy. Wanting to work on this love, build and craft this love. Take the time to figure um, one another out so that this is a con successful connection what's in the hidden energies is neither one of you um it's like both of y'all telling each other i don't love them the way i love you because there is somebody else around i don't know if it's with you no you do got somebody else cross watcher and so does aquarius look like they have somebody new but what both of you are saying in this conversation and repairing and rebuilding this connection, you two are taking the time to have a conversation and express like, look, I don't love that person the way I love you. Because there's some confusion about, you know, do you really love me? Do you want to fix this? You know, and so this is why this conversation is ha happening to restore and rebuild the integrity of this connection so that the two of you will be on the same page with, with the morals and values and expectations of one another. And because what you're trying to do is avoid relationship abuse and um, taking advantage of one another. So that there's a happy home and stability and commitment and a lot of love. So that's what's in the hidden energies. So the Aquarius is trying to figure out, is this going to happen? But it looks like the two of you are going to have an opportunity to rebuild. Spirit. The potential outcome is that the Aquarius and the Cross Watcher are going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation to restore and rebuild. To restore and rebuild this connection. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have makeover, reflection, and obstacles. And what you tell me, Cross Watcher, is like, yeah, it was a lot of challenges, a lot of struggles. And the more I think about this, I do want to make up with the Aquarius. You know, I had time to reflect and evaluate my actions. Well, in the head energies. It looked like there will be some um, cleanup going on here. Um, the two of you will let go of what no longer is serving you because it's somebody else here, either for you or Aquarius or both of you, that y'all don't love this person the way y'all love each other. So it will be a conversation about letting that go because y'all simply can't get enough of one, each, one another. There's a lot of infatuation, a lot of sex in it. I want to say hedonism, and it's like y'all both want to be cuffed and chained to each other. Spirits advice to you, cross watching when it comes to the Aquarius, it's a seven of wands. Seven of wands, you know, set your boundaries or stop being so guarded is what I'm hearing. Stop being so guarded. Because there's a heavy sex addiction. And... I have a feeling that that's what you're keeping a secret. But I think both of y'all want the same thing. It's like you guard in effect you had a sex addiction. And it's like the Aquarius know it. So why guard it? Like y'all just need to have this open conversation. Because I'm looking at these cups. Y'all mother lovers are both into some kinky stuff. I mean really. Y'all both. Or into some kinky stuff. Okay. 
So this you guard and and you can actually have a conversation with the Aquarius because there's a heavy, strong sexual union here. You don't have to hold it back from the Aquarius. You can tell them exactly what your desires or your freak is. And y'all will have a fresh start. But for some of you, you need to, if the Aquarius has children, you need to consider the fact that they have children and you can't just take the Aquarius without the child. And stop being so shy. Open up. Because it's a lot that you guarding and you pushing off about these deep emotions that you have for the Aquarius. And instead of you talking about it, you just keep running away as opposed to making a decision in, decision to work on this and change the situation with the Aquarius. Spirit, your advice to the cross watcher is to open up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At the bottom of the deck, you have blocked ascension memories and falling apart. And cross watcher spirit is saying that if you don't do this, the Aquarius it will lose feelings for you. And all you're going to have is memories and how this connection did not grow. So you might as well just tell the truth to the Aquarius cross watcher. And cross watcher spirit is saying you need to go apologize and seek the Aquarius forgiveness for you taking them through these repeated patterns of ignoring them. Because it's like you was ghosting the Aquarius and always thinking you was right and being inconsiderate. And spirit is like you owe the Aquarius an apology for that. The potential outcome for you in Aquarius is death, is death. Some of you are Scorpios, but the potential outcome is actually this, this connection is ending because someone is not sure if it, could tra if it could transform because it's too much work. It's too many responsibilities. And somebody is unsure and uncertain if this is a true romantic connection and they feel like there's a lot of manipulation here because somebody has a long their spiritual lesson about wanting to move forward in this connection and saying yes and work on it. Somebody feel like it's too much work. It requires too much money to move forward, move on to transform this connection. So it could go either way. The thing is, are you willing to put in the work cross watching? Spirit, there's some uncertainty here about can this connection be transformed? Somebody feels like it's too much work. Can you tell the cross watcher about this? At the bottom of the deck, you have confusion, wishes, and sour pitch. And you like look sexy. I got mixed feelings about this. The Aquarius, yeah, I'm confused if I really want this or not. When I heard all that was involved, I don't know. Because I'm telling you, I see that confusion. It's right here in my face. And the potential outcome, somebody's getting a lot of attention. And they pride and ego pride and ego are getting in the way and because this person is getting all this attention this is why they're ignoring the other person on purpose and not clearing up these bad vibes somebody feels like well look i don't need this this is too much work i got so much attention i get so much somebody get a lot of offers and they like, why should I put all this work in here when I can go get something easier? And that's what this juggling is all about. But you still don't want to let the Aquarius go. That's quite damn selfish, if I do say so myself. Spirit. So whoever doing it, but it looks like it's you. Spirit, what advice do you have for the cross watching when dealing with Aquarius? Flip right over. Spirit, what advice do you have for the cross watching when dealing with Aquarius? What advice do you have for the cross watching when Spirit, what advice do you have for the cross watching when dealing with Aquarius? What advice do you have for the cross watcher when dealing with Aquarius? Spirit, 
So cross watchers, spirit is saying, you know, there's a lot of chemistry and passion here. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And that when it comes to sex, y'all always gonna win. Y'all equally yoked when it comes to the sex. Some of you are Libras. And that you need to let go of control issues and just tell the Aquarius what it is you really want sexually because both of y'all addicted to each other and both of y'all into the same thing. So I don't know why you holding back telling Aquarius about your sexual desires and hedonistic ways because the Aquarius is down for it. I'm just saying. And cross watchers, spirit is saying that you need to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And you need to um, heal yourself first with this time for healing. It's like it's something inside you to make you run away. Like you got these abandonment issues, trust issues, insecurity issues. And this is why you jumping from one person to another. And spirit is like maybe you just need to spend some time alone and heal and ask your angels for guidance to guide you to your true self, your true purpose, so that you can be a little bit more trusting and open in connection. And cross watch the spirits and you have to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And when it comes to the Aquarius, see that Aquarius card, show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. Tell the Aquarius what it is you love. I've been seeing that this whole, re this whole reading. You need to tell the Aquarius what you love because you keep running high and doing what it is that you're doing in secret. And some of y'all um, like the same sex. And I'm not being funny and the Aquarius might not know about it. And you probably could just have that damn conversation. That's not for all of you, but that's for some of you. And spirit is like, you need to listen to your intuition and trust what it is your intuition is trying to tell you. And until you listen to your intuition and trust what your intuition is trying to tell you and be able to be open and honest to the Aquarius, with the Aquarius, instead of having the Aquarius all confused about whether you juggling them or not because you are, then y'all will have a more productive and healthy connection. Cross watcher, cross watcher, cross watcher. If you were here cross watcher for an Aquarius, you were in the right place. You were in the right place. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, cross watcher. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live. Peace, cross watcher. And I don't know why you're keeping all these damn secrets you need to say this is what i like this is what i want aries taurus gemini and cancer check out sexy tarot she has the answer leo Virgo, libra and scorpio are the viewers waiting to watch sexy tarot sagittarius capricorn aquarius and pisces or the number one subscriber wondering what sexy sees. You're here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Terror.